So it always starts with uh, an unspoken question. It's an exploration every time. And it starts as an exploration, trying to find what it is you're really looking for, which can never really be touched. One of the first things that I could verbalize for myself about the, uh, working on the animations is that I didn't have to have one image to stand alone or by itself, but I could use as many images as I wanted. It wasn't, didn't really feel like that logical, it just happened. I got a Super 8 camera from my grandfather. I had a friend showing me how it worked and I made an animation. And in that there was a click because I was bored of my own preconception of what art was supposed to be. And I don't care about defining what I'm doing. I don't care of defining myself in art history. I don't define it through history of painting or sculpture. I can take it. I, I still devour it. I still examine it. I still look at it. But in the studio, that's a free space. I use whatever I can and no rules apply in there. That is the free space in my life. The fear around that can go away and what is left then is space. What I like so much, like making music for the installations and the films is that I have actually a framework to work within because I, there's the film. So I have to consider that when I'm making the music. So then I just need to find the right uh, environment for that film. And that can be anything. Uh, sometimes it feels like it should be uh, electronic, uh, like pop music, sometimes classical music. The, the creativity, like the decisions between us, we don't really make any decisions. Uh, we don't really talk about it so much. No, because it can't, we have been working for such a long time together. And in the beginning I was much more demanding and much more controlling. And the more I let go of the control, the, the better Hans' music was. <laughs> For us, I think it's quite important that no interpretation of the works, like visual and music included, can be wrong. Whatever one person experiences is completely right. And it might not be the intention that we had when we were making it, but when once the work leaves the studio, it doesn't belong to us anymore. It belongs to the one watching it, because what is happening then is that it's taking place inside of them.